So, hi guys. After I did the Triste filter uh, tutorial, I decided it will be pretty cool if I can just give you a couple of different options on how to use the silver effects uh, and achieve different results. So, in this one, I want to show you how um, to make a high key portrait. And I'll quickly do the same exact starting point, start the same exact picture as the previous tutorial on the Triste filter and go to the silver effects and pick a high key too and what I like to do is uh, start with a very very bright exposure and dial it down until I uh, like the result so you see I'm uh, I started with a very brightly exposed film setting preset and uh, dial the brightness back uh, take a look at the uh, amplifications for the contrast so I'll just amplify the whites, amplify the blacks uh, mess around with the contrast as well and uh, you can immediately see the results so I'm scrolling back and forward and I've uh, kind of fast forwarded the whole thing a key point here was the color filter I clicked on blue so all the blue in my uh, picture uh, rendition will be gone and that's why the sky disappeared and it's a very uh, it's just a simple white but at the same time the main subject in the picture stayed and it's very visible it's very contrasty it kind of uh, pops out of the picture so that's what I'm uh, going for with this look we're looking for a high key portrait and it needs to be very bright so I'll just uh, keep pushing the brightness up don't overexpose but still be very exposed and very contrasty at the same time and you can see that I'm just messing around with the dials but uh, very important part with this is uh, have uh, fun with it and just don't don't be afraid to uh, mess it up and start all over again uh, maybe save a preset if you really enjoy it share it with me so I can take a look how it works on some of my uh, photos another thing that I wanted to say as you are watching me uh, kind of uh, tweaking this photo is Nix uh, Nix software is a great company and the products that they make are pretty much uh, the things that I love working with as a preset filters in Photoshop and uh, in fact this one came uh, bundled with my x right color checker so and these are really well spent money if you intend to buy any kind of uh, filters uh, and presets for Photoshop this is the one that uh, you should definitely pay attention to so let's take a look at the settings brightness at 41% the contrast is at 52 and the whites are pretty amplified blacks the soft contrast is a little bit high here is the hue for the blue filter that I used, the grains and the number of pixels. Sensitivity is very important part so pay attention to this one as well. You can pause the video and uh, take a look at them or duplicate the whole thing. The levels and curves are pretty much set from the filter that I used uh, as a preset for the film and this is the end result. So what I'm gonna do is adjust, just, just uh, adjust it, uh, make it a little bit brighter. So I'm almost losing the hair, and this is the adjustments for the levels of the Photoshop. And uh, that's uh, pretty much how I intend to save it. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope uh, you will watch. Uh, the rest of them, the rest of the tutorials for the presets, for the silver effects and uh, definitely check uh, Nick software that's owned now by Google uh, for your preset needs in Photoshop. Thank you for watching.